hey friends so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use hostinger to create your own crypto investment website and i'm going to be showing you how you can set up cone job as popular demand so a lot of people have been asking me how can we set all of these up using our hostinger h panel so this video is for you who is using hostinger literally i'm going to be showing you how you can set this up in no time all right so i'm going to show you how you can set all of this up up and how you can set your own crypto investment website using hostinger it's going to be a very short video i'm going to show you how you can get your returns using con job and set all of this up basically if you are using hostinger this is for you literally i've made this for you all right so let's go into that place and set up this so basically you could see the admin panel it comes with multiple themes literally you could choose different types of themes all right you can see the admin panel it is well loaded so why are you waiting for watch this video let's get started why i show you how you can set up this crypto investment website using hosting a hitch panel and setting up your investments with cone job catch you all right so welcome so i'm so excited so this video like i said is for hosting us um, owners okay so if you're using h panel and you have an hosting account i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own crypto investment website and this is one question i've often been getting how can we create the return for investment how can we set up our coin job in our hosting which panel so in this video i'm going to cover that up all right so if you're in your hosting panel so i'm just also going to i'm going to be installing the script and all of that but majorly we're going to be focusing on getting our coin job up and running basically so the first thing you want to do is just go to your website on hosting your h panel just navigate to your h panel on your hosting go to website uh my this is about to expire so if you if this video is helpful to you just uh, use the link below i will keep a link where you could just support me with anything you have one dollar two dollar whatever just support anyways let's just go so i'm going to go to the dashboard here i think i okay so i go to dashboard and i'm going to go to our file manager now on the file manager um if you want to use a subdomain do well to create a subdomain on your hosting it's basically simple what you just want to do is come to search and type sub domain and you can actually create that here it's literally simple so basically uh i don't have any website here so what i want to do is i'll just click on my public underscore html folder already uh but in my script here which is this main.zip but i'm going to show you how you can do that in case you have not been able to so what you want to do is come to this rec upload you click on it and click on file okay so in case you need this script do well to start me up just send me a message i will leave a communication link there you can just reach me via whatsapp so this is it i'll just click on it and click on open okay so basically i'm not going to click on replace or continue basically because i already have the script so i'm just going to cancel this for you you basically just get a timer here okay it will keep running to just indicate that your script is loading up all right so once you've successfully uploaded your script this is mine you want to right click on it and just click on extract now the script will prompt you to ask you okay where do you want to extract this script in and for me i'm going to name the I mean for that way I want to extract it I'll just call it view all right so I'm just gonna click here all right I want it to be inside my public underscore HTML so which is the same place where it was all right so I'm just gonna click on extract and you see this indicator to tell you okay it's extracting so we have that file here I'm just going to open it up so you have your script your script has been successfully extracted so what you want to do is you want to open a new tab where you type in your domain all right but because your script has been extracted into another folder called view all right uh whatever you name your folder so what you want to do is you go to your domain click on type slash then type the name of the folder okay mine is view so i'm just click on enter now you'll be welcome to the installation process okay so basically if your server requirement is as green as mine then you have to move forward so basically you have to put in your um, license code here once you do that click on next step 
then here is where you have to put in your database name and your database username and also your database password and in order to generate or get this information just go back to your host, um, hosting a dashboard and just type here on your search bar what you want to type here is database all right or just type data or you could come here and literally say to so click here depending on how fast it is for you so i'm going to name my database name i'm just going to call it data data i'm just going to copy it and give the same name to the username then for the password you could just click here to generate a password now this password make sure you save it for me the the best thing i love to do is once i've gotten the password generated i come here and i paste in the password okay so once you do that you click on create all right it said your database name must be unique uh, basically this is what i've always been doing but i'm so surprised it doesn't work it's not working on this video all right just go i'm just going to type in data just add x on it and i will just click on create okay database name must be unique i'm still getting the same thing so i think i've used data before in so what i want to do is i'm just going to call this z flight all right so i'm just going to copy it and still paste it here i want to use the same thing click on create and your database has successfully been created i i did a database okay so basically we already have data here okay that's why so i'm just going to delete this data So once i delete this data what i want to do now is i come back here okay so basically the reason we could not use data while i was typing was because i already have it here okay so i'm just going to copy the one we created with zip flight just copy it like this but remember something the one downside of hosting is that you can only add i think up to three database but do you need more all right so i'll just go back here and for the database name we're just going to paste it here the username still paste the same thing here we click on next step so it's going to import your database so database has um connected successfully so you click on import database now here you're going to create your admin um, email address and an admin password okay so i'm just going to use the flight studios as gmail.com and i'm going to also going to still use it as the same as my password you just click on submit now you have the option to visit your admin dashboard your user dashboard and your landing page if i open it up you're gonna see our landing page and basically this is it but don't worry i'm going to change it to what we have okay so before that you could see your user dashboard but because we don't really have a user um name okay we don't have we've not created a user account we don't need it we really have a admin account so what you do for the user you have to go create a user account but that will be later on your own time so for the admin which is what we need we just click put the username and we put the password and click on login now we have successfully logged in this is what i'm going to say basically if you want to know how you can fully set up this um, um investment platform right basically this investment plan. i've created multiple video on that but i made use of namechimp so basically you have been able to install this so just go i'm going to keep a link in the description below for you to just check out that video on how to um set all of this up okay so basically it's just the same thing the installation process is different from namechimp but once you get to the admin it's all the same thing so do well to check out that video there's no need for me duplicating all of this again all right so we'll go into the main phase of why i created this video which is the ability for our investment in return to come in which is setting up of cone job and for me to do this i will need to go to my scripts all right so basically we have the scripts here and we have documentation so in case i send you the script and you didn't get the documentation also tell me because it's important you get this so we're going to open this index folder here and now you get the information of everything you need to know about the script so what i want to do is just come back under um how to install click on install step and just scroll down you're going to see 
cone drop setup here this is it okay so basically um you have about one two three four cone drop setup but i'm going to show you how you can set basically any of them if you decide to and majorly is for the investment and if you want to do for a referral or user ranking you could also do that so what i want to do is i'm going to come back here then go to our hostinger um hostinger dashboard right and we're going to search just delete this search for cron job yeah this is it click on it now basically you have these two options here you have your custom option which is this and you have your php option now it is easy when you come here to you we often make the mistake of using this option user being but that's what what, what we'll be using we'll be using what we call the custom option now you have where you put in your command here you have this and we have all of this so what we'll be using is our custom option and in order to achieve this we'll come back here and the first cone job which basically is what everybody's always asking for is for the investment so just copy all of this just copy it. then you come here and you paste it so this is the cone job we want to run now it tells you that you're going to do cones um then you have your http https um slash your domain name so what you want to do is go to the place you have here so just copy your domain name https um slash your domain name all right then you're going to change from this place just cover it and replace it all right and you've gotten this now common setting up op common options is optional all right so for this you're not going to put anything okay so minutes should be every minute just so this is it every minute hour should be every hour just then we have these every day i think that's the first month every month then weekday should also be every weekday once you do that you don't need to do anything here okay once you do that just click on save and you see your cone job has been successfully created you have it here you could view output all right you just look at it here that's it so just give it some time and this is how you create all your cone jobs so basically if we decide that we want to create for user referral or for cone job okay for referral here so we just copy the same thing remember you are not using php all right what you're using is custom option the the major problem we get is when we use php we're not supposed to use php because it gives you all of this right but you're going to be using what we call your custom option then you put in this here remember to copy your domain with the whole https then replace it here when you do that now make sure this is every minute every hour every day every month and uh, every weekday to so click on save changes and you'll be able to set that up so basically this is how to set up your cone job now the right thing the 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 i would have loved to set up an investment and let us see how it will literally work all right so i will do that right away i'm not sure if i'll do that so if i'm able to do that i'm going to include it in this video if not because of time because most investments start in an hour so i have to wait for it to go but i'm going to do my best to try to do that and watch it once it works then we'll go into that i'll just show you how to go all right so basically just make sure to create your investment if you have not created an investment in order to do that you'll be able to set make sure to do every other settings so here you have your customer you have your manager here you have your transactions and you have all of that so uh, i don't know should i set up the investment myself or should i just leave that all right so let's just try so go to schema 
Okay, so your investment is known as schema. Basically, they are all they are here. You could literally add. So I'm just gonna click on this. This will really take time. <laughs> All right, so basically, you know how to set up your investment with the whole setup I've given to you. It will work perfectly. I've used it a couple over and over again. If it doesn't work for you, then this is what I'm going to advise you to do. Then you go back to use PHP. Then what you have to do is make sure to put this in. Just make this up to every minute up to. Every hour. every day every weekday and um every month then click on save changes now so you see uh, so this is one thing about hosting is that you cannot create more than two corn jobs that's really literally sad so i'm just going to delete this the one for referral just to show you how this is so you click on save changes now you notice two things you see that this is different from this this is the often thing we often do when we are trying to set up cron drop on hosting and you don't do this but the only option i will tell you when to do this is maybe if it doesn't work for you but this is the official way to set up your cron drop make sure to use custom all right i would have loved to set up the investment and see how it goes but it will take a ton of time so basically if you this is your first time seeing a video like this i will keep a link in the description that will show you how to set all of this fully this video is majorly for everybody that's been asking how can i set cone drop for my investment return on each panel using hosting so this video is for each and every one of you so support me through the link below and um, just don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon and give me a thumbs up then if you if you're willing just give me support through the link below any amount is appreciatable well done no <laughs> all right don't forget to subscribe thank you so much and i hope this video helps you i'll keep the link below for those of you who want to know how to set up this your investment both um the stand system fully all right so lastly before i go let us change our front end okay so what you do is uh, you click on team management you just click on site teams now basically this is what we are currently using all right so i basically the video i'll be showing you is i think i made use of this team all right but for this we're going to be making use of this one sure so i'm just gonna click on activate successfully so what we want to do is just come here and refresh and you get this okay so you could basically do any of this and all of that so thank you don't forget to subscribe share like comment hit that bell icon and give me support if you need a script do well to chat me up thank you have a nice time